So my name is Superintendent Rick Janay. I'm the uh, Assistant District Commander for Southern Alberta District, and I'm really excited to be uh, able to be involved in the announcement of the new RPAC team that will be housed out of Cochrane, but responding to 11 detachments between Banff and Drumheller and that kind of band, uh, working to support frontline police officers with complex calls. The RPAC team, which is a regional police and crisis team that involves both a police officer and a uh, registered psychiatric nurse allows police to tailor their responses to people who are in crisis that have mental health needs that are complex uh, in a way that we haven't been able to do when we didn't have those partnerships relationships. Um, it should be mentioned though that we've always worked collaboratively with Alberta Health Services. The, the difference, difficulty has been in, without dedicated positions, you don't allow, it doesn't allow uh, relationships to grow and, and be fostered so that the people get to understand what is the role of a psychi uh, psychiatric nurse, what is the role of a police officer. And as those two professionals within those uh, different parts of the uh, uh, public sector uh, get to understand each other's needs and the needs of their clients, they can work collaboratively uh, in a way that can better meet the needs of those people. Uh, a lot of it will involve triaging cases that are either coming up through the HS side or through the RCMP detachments and trying to figure out what are the challenges that these clients uh, pose and which services might best ad address those challenges. And so it's really about collaboration uh, and targeting those people are the highest needs of support. And in doing so, uh, there's an opportunity to reduce the need for those people to actually end up in crisis and either end up in an emergency department or in, or in, uh, in dealing with a police officer after hours. Yeah, well, criminal or, in, or not, I find that anything that police get involved in, there's always a touch of the, the mental health aspect there as well. Our clients who maybe they're getting in trouble with, with violence or drugs or uh, whatever it may be, I often do believe that there is a comorbidity there with some kind of a mental health diagnosis, well, whether it's diagnosed or not at that point. So I work for Alberta Health Services and so what I hopefully bring to the team is background information, um, also clinical skills in identifying what's the crisis, what's the mental health issues, what are the needs, and also bringing AHS services to that person in their home um, and try to connect them to various programs or even connect them to a doctor if necessary or even liaison with the current treatment providers so that would be really important so basically we're looking at improving our mental health contact for the police and also for Alberta Health Services because there's a population out there that we haven't been able to reach so kind of the neat branch of it I would say is that if I'm responding me and my partner to this mental health call we'd be trying to work our way in to understand that we're here to support you this isn't a legal issue you might be sharing that you might have some legal struggle struggles or you have some concerns about your neighbor or various issues and but we're here to talk about all of them and see how we can help you with that and during that time me and my partner are both assessing the situation for risk we're looking at our both of our concerns because she's coming from or he is coming from a side that is so important RCMP and police are really good at assessing risk to the community and risk to others and I need that part because originally AHS were so focused on that person and not necessarily the whole community so I'm looking at helping and supporting that individual and my partner is looking at how can you support the whole community. Not so much policing but my life prior to joining the RCMP. I obtained a Bachelor's of Science in Neuroscience. I also have a minor in Psychology. So when I heard about this new opportunity coming out I was really excited to um, put my name in for it because I was looking forward to the opportunity to help out in this kind of a capacity. I think there is sometimes a distinction behind what, what's driving a person's behavior, right, for police getting involved, right? Is it something, is this person ill or is this person acting out of uh, more just pure criminality, right? Uh, so having the perspective of, of the illness when we're, we're looking at different, um, different calls for service is it's a little bit more of a gentler, a more humanistic approach, right? Um, people aren't, aren't just their behavior, right? There's always so much more going on under the under the surface. Uh, so a lot of our clients in just the policing world do need support from from the health services world. Uh, so to be able to now go and service people with a Alberta Health Services partner, I think is a really good advantage, and it's gonna gonna um, 
support both policing and the, the health worlds.